Hello. Hi. Yes, uh, my name is Chank Diesel. That is my real internet fake name. <laughs> and I make fonts for a living. Uh, sometimes they're original, fanciful new fonts, and other times they're historical revivals. Uh, you can call them fonts, you can call them typefaces, they're kind of the same thing. Fonts is a more technical term for the kind you can type with, and typefaces is a more generic term for the design of a typeface. Uh, this is the font we're looking at tonight, uh, fonts and places I'm talking about. Specifically, I'm talking about this kind of font here that we see in Minneapolis a lot. I call it a constructivist geometric poster font. And we've seen, we, we're lucky enough to live in a city that has a headline up on the skyline. Uh, the Fauché building shows this kind of type style that I like. Uh, uh, it was in 1929 they unveiled that. Uh, and I made it into a font recently called Faux Show. <laughs> and it comes in a few different weights. You get the outlines, you get the inlines with the dots on it, or you can get just the, the light bulbs as its own separate weight. I, I used it, uh, yeah, on, on my garage door, I, I painted a confusing mural that my neighbors didn't understand. Uh, I also used that typeface uh, for the word Northeast on the uh, Cultivate Northeast uh, Permaculture Garden. Uh, at uh, Lowry and Central in Northeast Minneapolis. And after I painted that, I noticed that the, the Northeast there kind of looks like the State Fair Grandstand signage. Um, except this one has a, it's a little different. It's got the A with what I call a high belt line. Um, <laughs> these are the typefaces you see out in the cities every day. Uh, over the, the the foundry, uh, home goods, they still have their commutator foundry sign up. And then over here, that was in the 80s and 90s, there was a sign that always hypnotized me at one stoplight in North Minneapolis. Um, and, and that looks a lot more like my nicotine font, um, which is also referential of signage that we've seen here in the Twin Cities. The capital I looks like a cigarette. And, and maybe you've seen that one at the Mall of America. That's the nicotine font, a customized version of the nicotine font uh, that they have at the Mall of America, banning guns. Uh, my favorite personal font that I've ever made is called Liquor Store. The name came first. I saw the sign that said Liquor Store and thought I should make a font called Liquor Store. And that's uh, up at Marshall and, and uh, Lowry in, in Northeast. And uh, this is an older one that was uh, at the Northeast Yacht Club that's also on, on Marshall Avenue. Um, but they took this sign down and replaced it with something I don't like as much. But uh, I always thought that was the perfect sign there. Uh, and that's my liquor store font, how it looks basically. Uh, very rhythmic, positive and negative space carrying the same weight. It's, it's like a checkerboard almost when you set a, a word in all capital letters. Uh, and that font got out and people started using it here and there and everywhere and I sold it to Scholastic Books and they used it for the Hunger Games for the author's name on all three of the Hunger Games books and then Disney got it and they used it for the Stan Lee book, The Zodiac Legacy. Uh, and then it got picked up again and again and there it was uh, last year, it was the uh, uh, font used at the World Series. Uh, so that's, th thank you, thank you. Uh, another place where we've seen that kind of font. And then this is the weirdest thing is that it got picked up and it was used on a skyscraper in Antwerp, Belgium. Uh, it's a Dutch love poem about how this building is in love with a 700-year-old cathedral across town. <laughs> and they could never be together uh, because he's too young and she's too old. So I translated it and painted it over on uh, East Hennepin. It says, accept me, take me, see me. And it's about these three storefronts and how they're in love with the clockwork building across the street. 
Uh, and now there's a company called Gemini based in Cannon Falls, Minnesota that makes these letters available in cast metal uh, that'll go up on the sides of buildings. They come with a lifetime guarantee and you'll see those for the next hundred years. And uh, I keep painting it too. That's uh, the creative lighting building over in St. Paul with letters 10 feet tall, the liquor store font saying shine on. Thank you.